popular, very, very popular star of the Saturday Night Live weekend update. We're always happy when he finds time in his schedule to drop by and say hello. Here he is, the always amusing Norm MacDonald. Norm MacDonald! <laughs> Thank you. Very funny, uh, Norm. I always enjoy your work, and I, I'm glad you're here. Nice Me too, you. man. You're the funniest dude no, in the no, world. No, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just mediocre funny. And you got the thousand yeah, shows, right. one thousand shows. Yeah, but you're really funny, and you'll always have that. I'm just a dork. You know what? what? I'm just, a, just a dork. You know, no, struggling. Just a guy trying to make a buck. What? What have you been doing? What have you been doing? What's going on in your life? Take us through some of your your activities, your life, your free time. So you know, a couple yeah. hours with Norm McDonald. I got a lot of free time now, and so. <laughs> <laughs> so what I did was I returned to my first love, you know, dance. Yeah. I, returned, I returned to my first love, the stand-up comedy. Oh, you're doing the stand-up. Good yeah, for you. So yeah, so I go around the country to different smoky nightclubs and mm -hmm. I do my jokes, yeah. you know, and that's great, you know. It's the, the, the Doing the jokes is fun. But then the rest of the time, did you ever go on the road? A little bit. I didn't, I didn't care for it. Didn't, yeah. just didn't have the stamina for it. It's yeah, difficult. it's rough, man, yeah. because other than doing the stand-up, you just go to a town, you're basically you know, like a drifter or something. You, know? you show up, you hang around, and uh, then you sit and you're uh, t watching the TV all the time, you yeah. know. And I love the TV, you know, but when you watch it all the time, you just watch anything, you know. I saw, I watched ESPN too, they got all the deuce. Yeah, sure, the know? deuce, yeah. And they got, uh, they got sports there that, you know, they're not, they're kind of weird sports. Like they got uh, kickboxing. Yeah. You ever hear that sport? Yeah. yeah. And that's an odd sport. What they do is, they combine the style and grace of boxing with uh, with kicking. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of immature. A guy's boxing, all of a sudden he kicks the guy. You know, they're just cheating. You know. Yeah, I think so. Sure. Yeah. And uh, then also what you do is you watch the try to get the pay movies there. You know. Oh yeah. You ever you ever dial up any of the? You can get like first run features. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got. Uh, I, I ordered Pulp uh, Fiction. You yeah. know that movie? Oh sure. It's a gritty urban uh, satire. You know. <laughs> it said that on the yeah. little oh, thing. Yeah. I wouldn't have known. <laughs> and uh, so I said, yeah, I'll get Pulp Fiction. I heard great things about that. So I order it, right? Mm -hmm. And they send me a different movie, a movie called uh, by the name of. Uh, Pump Friction. I never heard of that movie. You never heard of that movie? No, what is, what well, is it? Well, it's different than Pulp Fiction. Uh -huh. Pulp Fiction is a, a gritty urban <laughs> satire. Uh -huh. Pump Friction is a, a, a bunch of uh, dudes and ladies having dirty sex. Whoa! <laughs> and, you know. So there's a mix up, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't a bad movie, you know. <laughs> It was actually with those dirty movies. I find like they're good for about 15, 20 minutes. Uh -huh. I'm really interested. Right. And then uh, there's one point that all of a sudden I'm bored. You know, I, I, can't, I just I just lose interest completely, yeah, I and I feel it's deeply ashamed. You know. <laughs> The human mechanism working there. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Uh, Norm, how's your family been uh, with uh, your recent, uh, you know, situation with Saturday Night Live? You don't work there anymore. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're probably very proud when you had the job, and right. now you don't. Have, I mean, how, how have they been a bit supportive? I would think. Oh right? yeah, they're supportive. They, uh, my mom came to visit me, you know, here in New York City, mm -hmm. and uh, she uh, she wanted to go to a Broadway play. That's her idea, in New York. Sure. Broadway, you know, they got the Broadway plays. She comes down from uh, Canada. Canada, yeah. yeah, from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. And uh, she's, uh, you know, she doesn't know, like, she's not a big city person like you and me. <laughs> <laughs> so she's like, uh, she's like, oh, we got to go see a Broadway play. <laughs> so, uh, but I didn't want to because the last time I, 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 she came and visited, I took her to this Broadway play. And I've never been to a Broadway play, you know. Mm -hmm. So I took her to this one. They had this one, uh, How to Succeed in Business, even if you don't really care to. All right. And... Uh, <laughs> I take her to that. Uh, Sarah Jessica Parker. Sarah Jessica Parker. Right. She wasn't there. They had oh. some other uh, lady. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, we get in there, and uh, I never been to a play. Oh my God, it's horrible. You go in, and uh, <laughs> you got to sit. They have little chairs. You're all crunched up. It costs like ninety bucks or something like that. <laughs> and then you sit there, you watch it, and these dudes come in. They're all uh, doing stuff, you know. 
And uh, <laughs> the thing is, like, you, and you kind of got to use your imagination right. a lot because yeah. they'll go. Like, it's an office, right? Meanwhile, it's just a chair and a desk, <laughs> you know? And then they have, like, a, maybe a window with, like, a fake moon behind it. Yeah. So you go, oh, it's, I guess it's nighttime there, you know? <laughs> and uh, it's, like, just hellish, you know? And then everybody's singing every time, you know? And uh, singing and dancing around. And uh, and it was about business, you know, about the business world, mm -hmm. you know? And so... Uh, at one point there, uh, the, uh, coffee guy comes, you know, oh, he's yeah. bringing in the coffee. <laughs> and, uh, so then they all get excited because the coffee's coming. And, uh, <laughs> so, uh, they're singing, oh, here's the coffee. We want to drink the coffee, you know. <laughs> and, uh, really excited about that. And my mom, she talks. She's used to just watching the TV. Sure. And so she doesn't know that you're not supposed to talk out loud. And uh, so she's like, the whole time, she's like, oh, good God, that's just like me. I, I have to have my coffee in the morning. <laughs> and, like, All right, you know, okay. and then I think the coffee machine broke. Uh -huh. And then everybody went, oh, <laughs> we don't have our coffee. So it lasted forever. <laughs> and like, you're, you know, you're just watching this stuff and trying to imagine what it would really look like on the TV, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so then finally... Finally, the damn thing's over. It takes like an hour and a half, yeah. and you, you go, okay, let's get the hell out of here. You go out. It's not, it's not over. It's intermission. They have ah. an intermission. <laughs> so, intermission, you know, it's, it's you go out into this crowded foyer, just packed with people, and they're all discussing it. You know, they're going, hey, remember the coffee there? And, <laughs> and uh, I'm going, holy Lord. So I see... <laughs> I see some dude that works there. I go, hey, listen, uh, you got the, you got that uh, uh, Nick Charlotte game on somewhere? Because I knew the, yeah. the Knicks were playing uh, uh, the Hornets there. And uh, uh, the guy, no, no, sir, no, no, you know. And I go, anything, the sports tick or something like that? He goes, no, this is the theater. You know, he's all like snooty, you know. This is the theater. And V, like, you yeah, know, yeah. it's a theater. There's got a whole bunch of them. <laughs> the theater. So then she... Now, when she came back, uh, I, 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 you know, definitely didn't want to take her to the, uh, yeah, another yeah. Broadway, but, you know, it's my mom and sure. everything, and she's got, oh, we got to go see a brother Broadway play, yeah. and I go, yeah, yeah, then, uh, you know, the playoffs are starting and everything, you know, but, <laughs> so I go, uh, okay, well, why don't we go to, like, uh, you know, Cats, I hear that's oh, a good yeah, thing, sure. you know, so I take her, oh, you know, an interesting thing, when we're going to Cats, we're walking down the street, and my mom stops in a donut shop. She likes eating donuts. And uh, uh, she goes in to buy herself a cruller there, and I stay outside. A cruller? A cruller is a cruller? type of the type of donut. Cruller is the same as a cruller. <laughs> what did I say? I think he said cruller, but I, I could be wrong as well. I don't know. Cruller. I, I, maybe. A yeah, it's a cruller. It's a cruller. All right, yeah. fine, sure. I'm pretty sure it's a cruller. Yeah. Isn't that like? No, because even on the thing it says C R U L, -A, and then over the e U is like one of those what a things. Thing, yes, yeah. <laughs> so I said, uh, "Yeah, go get yourself a cruller." And she, I waited. Inside. <laughs> she comes out. She goes, uh, "Oh no! Oh my God! You wouldn't believe it." She says, uh, "Your friend David Letterman is in the the donut oh, shop." Is that right? And uh, she thinks we're friends. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I told well, we her we were friends. friends. Yeah, you know? we're sort of friends. I told her we were best friends. Well, I like I would, I would like to be your friend too. So, uh, so she says, "Oh, he's in there," and I go, "Mom, man, David Letterman's not in a donut shop. <laughs> you know, it doesn't make sense." And uh, you know, he's my best friend. I would know, <laughs> you know, if he was in a donut shop. So uh, she says, "No, no, no, just go say hi to him. He'll like to see you." So I go into the donut shop. And there's a dude sitting there. He's not you. Yeah. He's just some dude with like a late show t-shirt on. Right, right, right. And uh, I think he was even like a Mexican guy or something like that. You know? Could be, I, I yeah. guess, yeah. And uh, so uh, I said, ah, oh, man, that can't be David Letterman, you know? <laughs> so I walk out and I say, Mom, you know, that uh, that was him, but he's busy, you know? And, uh, <laughs> he doesn't want to be bothered by any of this. So anyways, we go to the cats, you know? And uh, this is something I've heard about for years. Cats. Been on around now and forever. Yeah. yeah. Is that what it is? I, I think. Yeah. And uh, I go Cruller. there. I go, what? Cruller. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I go to Cats. You're, you're not, I don't know if I'm an idiot or if everybody else is an idiot, but it's probably me. No. <laughs> um, 
It's about cats. <laughs> That's right. I'm talking. It's about actual cats. actual cats. So I said to the guy at halftime during the thing, I go out and I say, there's a dude working there. I say, good God, man, that's about actual cats, right? So the guy goes, well, what the hell you expect? It says cats. And I go, I don't know. I thought it was like a symbolic symbolism. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure, right? I mean, if you went to like a a nice dog thing. day afternoon and there's a bunch of dogs yeah, in the you'd afternoon, <laughs> you'd want your money back. Literal, exactly, yeah. Listen, Norma, uh, it's good to see you again. I want you to have a, a lovely summer and uh, keep us posted as to what's going on in the okay. future, right? Nice to have you with us. Hey, Norm. thanks for coming. Norm McDonald, ladies and gentlemen, right here. We'll be back to Pearl Jam.